So now I am going to explain you about self triggered always block. Normally we don't use this kind of thing in our Verilog code, but if someone is asking you this kind of questions, how to answer that or how you know how this self triggering always block works. So just let's take an example, always at the rate clock has one clock equal to not clock. And same thing always at the rate clock has one clock non-working not clock. So what is the difference between these two statements and how they are going to execute? So why this is known as your self triggered always block because Inside it, whenever this clock value changes, it will again trigger this always block. So now here, what will happen? Here, your always block will get executed only once. And here, the always block will get executed till dollar finish is encountered. Okay, so why it is happening so? Now here what will happen? I am using blocking assignment. So how blocking statements are executed? So in the blocking assignment, your RHS is evaluated and assigned to LHS immediately. There is no interruption. So here what is happening before scheduling before scheduling the event your blocking assignment get executed so here the clock event is missed okay why because this is blocking assignment so there will be no interruption between evaluating the lhs and updating the rhs sorry evaluating the rhs and updating the lhs everything happens immediately so before scheduling the event only your blocking assignment get executed so there is no event scheduling so no further execution of the statement so here let initial value of clock is equal to zero so it will give only clock equal to one after has one time clock value will be equal to one. So now how this statement will get executed. So first how non-blocking get executed. RHS is evaluated in active reason. And LHS is updated. And we reason. So here what happens after? So here RHS is evaluated, then in the active reason only. So here what will happen after RHS is evaluated, then the event is scheduled. Then your LHS is updated. So now when the LHS is updated, okay, at that time it will again trigger the always block. Updated, then it will again trigger the always block. So here the clock event is not missed. So now here how the output will come. So just let initially clock equal to zero. Then after one time clock will be one. At two time clock will be again zero. At three time clock will be again one. So it will continue like this till dollar finishes encounter. So again why it is happening so because here LHS of sorry RHS evaluation will happen in the active reason. There only event scheduling will happen after that this value will be updated. So when this value will be updated, it will make the value change. So as event scheduling is already happened, so it is going to again trigger this always block. Now here what is happening, this is evaluated, 
then it is assigned to clock so there is no event scheduling so if no event scheduling then however you change the value event scheduling is not there so it is not going to trigger this always block so this is all about your self triggered always block